All right, Shalom. Quick lesson through the Spirit of Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man. Keep pushing, keep believing. Keep the faith of God some people here for look, another fool. This is what, what a fool looks like, you know? If you didn't know what a fool looks like, here you go right here, man. This is a fool. This is a reprobate right here. AKA a stalker, man. Female tendencies. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I mean, you sound like a female that I used to date, man. Always peeping through people's windows, man. Without <laughs> peeping time, man. He's a stalker, man, man. You have by Shemel Shai rejected you, my man. If this gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost. This man don't even believe in gravity anymore. <laughs> this, this dude is bugged the hell out, man. He teases him with his hat on. You know. You know. He, he just drives around the city with a camera, hops out, you know, and just preaches with his hat on for like five or ten minutes, then hop back in the car. Go get him a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> With mustard and onions. <laughs> Yo, this is a real, real fool, real. But I got some scriptures on, man. Another flat earther, you know what I'm saying? You know, what do you say? Leviathan is a volcano? Yeah, <laughs> this guy is, this guy is funny, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Proverbs. <laughs> verse 16. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. And I'm gonna try to get through this, man, but this guy is funny, yo. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. He was kicked out a couple years back from the Atlanta camp, and then he just running around like a madman, like a chicken with his head cut off. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It's a stalker, man. Trying to find out. Nobody don't want to see you, my man. Nobody don't want to have, nobody don't want to talk to you, man. We see you have no knowledge at all. What conversation could we possibly have? Would you want to come up and ask questions? Even though we give you the truth, according to the Bible, we give you the right answer. You're not going to believe that it's the right answer. So why do you, why do you want to meet, even meet anybody, man? All right. Just keep doing your thing. Just wait on the missiles, my man. Once again, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. All he do is mock and scoff, you know, Great mangles the scripture, butchers the scriptures each and every time. What little bit of knowledge that he did have, you have by Shemel Shah took it from him, you know? Took it, took it dead from him, man, you know? Tell us on Babylon is a, is a, um, is a place, not a people. Oh, however he said it. Oh yeah, he said Babylon is a people, not a place. You know? Straight up reprobate, man. So all that nonsense, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, adding, taking away, all that seeming right unto this fool right here. But the end thereof are the ways of death, man. This guy's going to die soon, come, man. And no, nobody don't want, want you to come wherever they at. Nobody don't want to see you, man. Straight up, man, you a reprobate, man. You a fool. Talk not much with a fool. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 10. Correction is grievous. Unto him that forsaketh the way. And he that hated reproof shall die. So the only thing you're waiting on now, my man, is death. You hate to be corrected. You think you know it all. You, you're very prideful. You ain't, you ain't nothing but a demon, yo. That's all you are, man. You got female tendencies. I always want to know where somebody is at, man. You know, I always want to know somebody's location. All right? Nobody wants to see you, man. And the God of the Bible hid this gospel from you anyway, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai hid this gospel from you. If our gospel, if you can't get it, hey, look, we moving on, man. Let's get this. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, the truth according to the Bible, the 100% truth according to the Bible, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And this guy most definitely, he lost in his sauce, man. Ain't no coming back for this guy right here. This fool right here. 
Ain't no coming back for this fool right here, man. He been gone, yo. He drunk off that Babylon juice for real, for real, man. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. And what is Israel looking for? The truth, man, okay? But the election have obtained it. And the rest was blinded. So he one of those guys that the guy in the Bible blinded, man. Slumber. Put him back to sleep. If he was ever woke. You know? He said, he said, there's no such thing as gravity. You know he's a bug out, man. This guy, this guy said the earth is flat. This guy is a straight up bug out, man. A fool, man. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. Just a short lesson, man. This is what a fool looks like, man. And he mocking, he scoffing at the men of the Lord that are still out there. He mad. The guy in the Bible rejected him, so he now he's, he's running around mad, going from state to state. He going from state to state on days that he know ain't nobody out there teaching. You know, and like he really looking for somebody. He ain't looking for nobody, man. But you have Bush Shemel Shai going to make him run into the right person, though. You know what I'm saying? And that's death, right? Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. A blockhead, a meatball, a jackass, an imbecile, a nincompoop, a goober. All that nonsense he's talking, it seemed right in his own eyes. He seemed, he seemed like he wise to himself. But to everybody else, they plainly see that he's a fool. Once again, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. And this dude despised counsel, man. Right? Proverbs 13 and 16. Every prudent man, every wise man, dealeth with knowledge. But a fool layeth open his folly, man. And that's all you see on each and, and nobody don't watch your videos, man. Only people that watch your videos is reprobates, you know what I'm saying, and um fallouts from Great Millstone. That's the only people, you know what I'm saying, that watch your videos. Nobody else, man. Only people that watch your videos is a bunch of retards, right? Once again, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 16. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his father. And the God of the Bible gonna shut your lips soon, come man. Proverbs 14 and 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. So nobody don't want to see you, man. Everybody's trying to get away from you. Use a fool. Once again, you when you wonder why nobody don't want you to know where they at, this is it right here. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man. This is a foolish man right here. But he think he wise though. You have but Shemel Shai got them evil times prepared for you, my man. When thou perceiveth not in him the lips of knowledge, this dude ain't got no knowledge. Why would anybody want to be around him, man? You know? Why would anybody want to be around this fool right here, man? You know? Tell me, why would anybody want to be around this fool? Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28. Even a fool. When he holdeth his peace, it's counted wise. So he's worse than a fool, right? Prime example of a reprobate, man. Prime example. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips, meaning keep that mouth shut, is esteemed a man of understanding. This dude can't do neither one of them. You know. Proverbs 18 and 6. A fool's lips enter into contention. And his mouth calleth for strokes. So now, look, you know what it is, man. The God of the Bible got strokes prepared for your back, man. Okay? Verse 7. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction. That's what's going to get this man done in. His mouth, man. You know? His mouth. He going to write a check that his ass can't cash. He don't know nothing. A fool's mouth is his destruction. And his lips are the snare of his soul, man. Okay? A fool's lips enter into contention, man. 
and his mouth calleth for strokes, man. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are a snare to his soul, man. The Lord is going to destroy this guy right here, man. Proverbs 23 and 9. Speak not in the ears of a fool. Why have conversation with a fool? Why, why, why should we have conversation with a fool, man? Proverbs chapter 23 verse 9. Speak not in the ears of a fool. For he would despise the wisdom of thy words. So why have a conversation with this fool right here? He's only going to despise the words that's coming out of our mouth according to the Bible. That's the only thing that he's going to do. He's going to despise the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man. What the scriptures tell us, he that despises the word shall be destroyed. This guy going to be destroyed soon come. Proverbs 24 and 7. Wisdom is too high for a fool. This is a fool. Plus the scriptures tell you, wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul. This is a malicious soul right here. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gate. Ain't gonna be begging for bread soon. Come, man. This is a slugger. This is a lazy man right here. Proverbs 26 and 4. Answer not a fool according to his folly. Least thou also be like unto him, man. Okay? We ain't going back and forth with this fool, man. We're not gonna go back and forth with this fool right here. With this reprobate right here. We're gonna rebuke him. He take the correction, then it's a wonderful thing. He don't take the correction, he's going to die as the scriptures just said. Proverbs 15 and 10. You know? Proverbs 28 and 26. He that trusts in his own heart, meaning his own mind, is a fool. And that's this guy right here. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered, man. Okay? He shall be delivered, man. Not a guy that trusts in his own mind. You know, and you see clearly, this is a fool right here, man. You know. Ecclesiastes 10 and 3. Yea, also, when he that is a fool, a blockhead, a meatball, a jackass, he's still teaching with his hat on. When the scripture tells you clearly, if you prophesy, you got to uncover your head. Clearly tell you that in Corinthians. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 3. Yea, also, when he that is a fool walking by the way, his wisdom fell of him. And he said to everyone that he is a fool. And that's what this guy is doing. He's telling everybody, he's telling the whole congregation that he's a fool. And the guys that listen to him, they're fools too, man. All right? Ecclesiastes 10 and 14. A fool also is full of words. Every time you turn around, he's he making a video, just running that damn mouth. He ain't, really, he ain't saying nothing, though. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. This man is full of darkness. You can see it, man. Gone. Gone. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 14. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be. We don't know what's coming out of his mouth next. We don't know what's coming next out of his mouth. And what shall be after him? Who can tell him? You, you just never know with this fool, man. So this is a fool. And his back's going to call him for strokes, man. He adding to the scriptures. He taking away from the scriptures. And the guy of the Bible got something for him, man. He that hated reproof shall die. I just want to do a quick little lesson through the spirit, man. This is a stalker right here, man. He has female tendencies, man. He's a stalker, man. Falling out a multitude to do evil, man. Okay? A companion of fools shall die soon come, man. All right? According to the Bible, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Shalom.